It's been a little while since we've played with Image Magic, but it's a great little command line tool that lets you do everything uh, with photos that you could probably do with something like GIMP or Photoshop, but from the command line. It's installed by default on a lot of systems, but if not, it should be in your repositories, Image Magic. And Image Magic is just a, a package of tools. Uh, one of the tools that is most common is Convert, that allows you to convert from one image file to another, but also allows you to manipulate the photos while converting it. Um, and today we're going to look at creating a vignette. So first off first, uh, one of the packages inside, uh, or one of the programs inside the uh, Image Magic package is called Display. And if you just type Display and the name of a image, such as this case I have one in this folder called Photo2.jpg, you hit Enter and you can see it opens up that image. Um, a little bit larger than my recording area here, but you get the idea. We can close that out. Now. I've done a lot of tutorials on Image Magic in the past using Convert, and today we're just going to look at another feature of it. We're going to say Convert, and the name of our input file, which will be photo2.jpg. Then, since we're going to make a vignette, we need to pick a background color, which is the color the vignette will be. So we'll say dash background, and we'll say black. Then we'll say dash vignette, and then we need to give it um, basically how strong the, the, the size of the vignette is. So we're going to say 100 by 300 and then we're going to give it an output uh, name. So a file we're going to output to. And I'll just say, I like using PNG, so I'll say photo.png. Now, you can save it back to the original file. So if you put in the same name, it will overwrite and remove the original file. So be careful about that. Also, if you already have a file uh, such as in this case photo.png it will override it without asking you so be sure you're using the name that you want to use and that you don't overwrite an image that you need that being said we'll hit enter it takes a few seconds depending on how large the photo is um, and then there we go now we can say display and the name of our new photo and you can see now that we have a nice little vignette around our image here. Now let's uh, try changing that a little bit. Now you can see it's a nice soft vignette. You know, it's nice and faded out. If we make our vignette number lower, let's say instead of 100 and 300, we say 10 and 30, we'll hit enter. Once again, I am now overriding the image I just created, and it doesn't confirm that, so make sure you're picking the names that you want to use. But here we go with the lower numbers, you can see it's a much stronger, uh, you know, stronger edge on that vignette. It's not as faded. Um, once again, we can also go the other direction. And instead of 100 and 300, let's try, let's try 500 and 1,000. Sound good? Hit that. Might take a few more seconds using that higher number but you'll see what happens. It gives us, really, it's going to give us a much larger fade in the vignette, but it's going to darken almost all of our picture at this point. So there we go. We will display that image. There you go. You can see it's just, it's just very dark. It's not as dark up in the corner, but it's darker in the middle because just kind of spread that out over that pixel size, uh, which is uh, pretty much over our whole entire image. So you can play with those numbers a little bit, get it, the vignette that you like, now another thing, uh, we'll go back up a few times and we'll go back to our original the 100 by 300, which I find is to be a good number. We'll change our background color. Instead of black, we'll say blue. And once that's done rendering out, we can display that photo and you can see now we have that nice soft vignette, but it's blue instead of black. And you can do this with any color and you can also give it um, you know, ranges of color. Um, but let's try giving it, really with vignettes, normally vignettes are black and sometimes with photos they'll be white, like maybe a wedding photo. And there you go. So yeah, it's something you can do in GIMP in the GUI interface and in most cases that's probably how you're going to do it. But if you need to write a script that would apply that to a whole bunch of images or maybe uh, you're taking a video file and you're taking out images from it and basically just with anything with scripts a GUI interface is nice but a script is more practical if you're doing things in bulk usually. 
So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There'll be a link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.